Hey, I'm James Barber, and I'm the Phantom and Phantom of the Opera, and I am here to play Roll Call. Daryl Van Horn, The Witches of Eastwick. The cool thing about this for me is I did the original reading in 1999 with a then Kristen Bell. It is hilarious. I don't know if I was funny, but the entire process was so much fun. Mamie Paris, unbelievable. I had a blast with this one. Where is it? Ah, got it. Billy Bigelow, Carousel, Lincoln Center Revival. The amazing thing about this for me was that the show was just so incredible. I mean, Audra McDonald, uh, Brian Darcy James, Tay Diggs, you know, all these amazing people. I, I felt like a badass just because the show itself was just such a badass show. Ready before she comes, I gotta make certain that she won't be dragged up and slung with a lot of bums like me. She's gonna be sheltered and fed and dressed in the best that money can buy. Jean Valjean. Uh, sometimes I sing Cosette. No, I don't. Well, sometimes I do. You know, I, I never did the show on Broadway, and I never thought that I would ever do it. I was like the only guy in New York that had never done the show. I got asked to do Jean Valjean, and I fell in love with this show and this character, and I still sing the music. To love another person is to see the face of God. Favorite line in the entire show. Yeah, Sydney Carton in A Tale of Two Cities. This was a tremendous journey. I started it in 2004, right after, right when Assassins was going on on Broadway, the revival. I have uh, an affinity for this character, giving up his life for love, for the love of someone else, so that they can have the, the life that they wanted to have. Special, special show. I wish more people had seen it. <laughs>
role of the best costume. I mean, come on. The Phantom rivals it because it's so iconic, but when you're talking about the actual, like, whole thing, the Beast costume is pretty, pretty awesome. It also prepared me for Phantom because I had to sit in the makeup chair for about an hour. And I'm excited for the movie. Father Frollo, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, not the Disney version, it was the version by Dennis DeYoung of the band Styx. There's a great song called Who Will Love This Child, and it was my mother's favorite song. Uh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous tune that Dennis wrote. This music is unbelievable, just gorgeous music, so I think, uh, I think that would be it. Leon Cholgosh and Assassins. The reason it scared me was because this was perhaps the most incredible cast, I'm getting emotional because it was such an amazing experience, the most incredible cast that I've ever been around, the most incredible creative team, Dennis O'Hara, Michael Cerverus, uh, Mario Cantone, Neil Patrick Harris, I mean it goes on and on. It was like a master class. So excited to have done it, but uh, also wanted to make sure that I was reaching everybody else as well. If you keep your goal in sight, you can climb to any height. Everybody's got the right to their tree. Everybody gets a bite. Everybody just a bite to your dreams. Everybody's got the right to their dreams. In a good way. Where is it? Here it is. The Phantom in The Phantom of the Opera. It is the most physically demanding role I've ever done. It is vocally demanding. It's not called Phantom of the Musical, it's called Phantom of the Opera. There's no minute, there's not even a second in this character you can relax. Absolutely incredible to do this role. But it is, it is, uh, it is physically challenging and uh, I love it. Gently, night unfurls its splendor, cross feet. find a new word for where is it? Ooh, eh, ah, here it is. You're in town, Officer Lockstock. This was absolutely hilarious. We had so much fun. I will never forget Jennifer Laura Thompson. We were frozen at one point, and Jen just keeps moving towards you. She keeps moving, like, toward my nose until, like, her finger's going up my nose. Incredible, incredible fun. I'm kind of goofy in real life, so this was really fun. Hey, thank you guys for watching. It was a lot of fun for me. It actually took me down memory lane, and it reminded me uh, how many great friends I have, all these amazing people that I've worked with, and it's wonderful to see them grow, not only as actors, but in their personal lives, and it, it, it makes me realize how grateful I am for this amazing community. I want you guys to come and see Phantom. I'll be there. Come and see the show. You're going to love it. If you haven't seen it, see it. If you've seen it, see it again.
have had and this family continues to give, uh, not only the cast, the crew, the orchestra, the creative team, uh, but most importantly, you. It is a family, and without you, we would not be here. It is a story of hope and love and light, and if we can push that forward, all of us, individually, into this new year, take that story, take that light, each of us can make the world a better place. Thank you so much for having me. Have a